We're going to work, going to be working on some of you guys' touches, seeing who's at what level. Can end, darling, catch you, can end. It took two I'm stints in prison there, for Bobby Kasanga to realize his life needed a change of direction. Growing up a member of a South London gang, Bobby was once deep in a world of crime and violence. I saw so many talented people in prison and I just thought that a lot of them were misguided. So it sort of told me that when I get out, I need to create a platform for some of these young youths just to give them a, a way out. Hey, well done, well done, Adam. Keep going. That's when Bobby set up a football club in East London, Hackney Wick, named after the local neighborhood. The goal to steer young men away from the lifestyle that nearly killed him. There's a point in 2007 where things were spiraling way out of control. My older brother got shot four times in 2008, nearly died. And my younger brother was constantly getting involved in um, altercations. It was a very scary moment. I honestly can't count how on my fingers and toes how many friends are dead. Friends like fellow footballer Anthony Ogazi, pictured here next to Bobby. He was stabbed to death in 2008. In the past few years, knife crime has surged to record levels in London. 83 people were killed in knife attacks in the 12 months to September 2018. It feels that like nothing ever changes and the violence is really real and that's what you have to teach some of these kids is that it's, once you're dead, you're dead. There's no coming back from that. One of those kids was Jaden Mitchell Brown, now 21 years old. He says his life would be very different today without Bobby. Jaden says he recruited him for the Hackney Wick team and went further. He also found him his first job. If I didn't sort of meet Bobby and play football with him and for the football club, basically, I think like I probably just would have like been on a totally different path sort of just doing the wrong things basically what do you getting, mean by that um probably like obviously selling drugs you know like and because that's so easy quick way to make money do you know what i mean so you can only benefit from what you're surrounded by and so what you're surrounded by is not the best of circumstances in london is a is a, is a crazy place so like buckingham palace and that's your area that they put on tv that's your like your your painted picture of london basically but when you get to the real business like it's a it's a real hard world out here yeah, Jaden the magic man. has now become a role model of sorts to younger kids in Bobby's club. Some of you guys may not have met Jaden before. He started playing for the team and he scored our first ever FA Cup goal this year. He's an example. The semi-professional Hackney Wick first team has a long way to go. It currently plays in the 10th league of English football. So regular games like this one against the Wormley Rovers are important to advance to get sponsors, money, and support. And to give these young men purpose, to make picking up a ball more attractive than reaching for a knife. The knife crime rate especially has spiraled way out of control. Mm -hmm. And what it is now, so many of these Jews have got no leadership. Some come from sort of single parent home where the father's not around, so mm -hmm. the only people that have as role models are the, 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 the local gangsters who, who say, look, I'll look after you, here's some money, go and sell some drugs for me. So you have to compete with the lure of easy money, expensive trainers, all that stuff with a football club. Yeah, basically. Cause How in, do you do that? England, our national sport is football. Yeah. So even the toughest of gangsters played football at a certain point. Yes, we have to compete with these guys, but we know that where a kid, you know he's selling drugs, his phone's going on, off all yeah. day. You're going to get on the phone, oh, I'll call you back in a bit. But he's not bothered about the selling drugs at that point. He's there playing football. We know by keeping him occupied with positive stuff, positive messages, it stops him from going the other way. With every hour on the pitch rather than on the street, yeah. with every goal scored, what seemed like little wins to some, for Bobby could mean significant victories for the kids he's trying to help. Well done, boys. Halagarani, CNN, Hackney, London.